doing it's friday y'all how is everybody doing how was your week man this has been a week i have had such incredible conversations who watched the show yesterday who enjoyed it who enjoyed um shawnee miller Vibo? um she is so cool she is just such a, a wonderful person a wonderful lady um and she yeah she hung out here for about 90 minutes and um and it was really really super really great um having her and so this week we had great 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 conversations wonderful shows and i'm looking forward to an incredible week again next week um, and having you tuned in um, how's everybody doing hope you all are well and enjoying your friday um, carlos reed is always fantastic um, hello to you karen hi how you doing today um, it's always good to see you and have you i you know i'm always amazed um, i go so many places and people pe i'm talking from the religious sect to 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 husbands wives single mm -hmm. people young not so young they love the very frank very candid very honest no holds barred conversations about love life and relationships mm -hmm. on fridays mm -hmm. i went some place this week shanique and uh to this business and this fellow uh, when I step in, he said, wow, I said, man, I just love Friday. Me and my wife can't wait until 4 p.m. on Friday, mm -hmm. you know, so y'all really, really bring it real and you're helping us. And he called his wife from uh, in the back. She was in the back and she came out and she was just blown away the fact that I was inside their store. You know, so yes. I believe that the show is really touching people. It's helping people. I get a like, uh, response from persons who are saying that the show is really helping them. Even when I went down to Freeport the other day, people are listening down in oh, Freeport, Freeport. Yes, you yep, know, yep, and yep, they say great, that it's great, really, um, say it's really leadership. helping them. And I believe that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm, absolutely. It's about changing lives. It's about having the conversation. And you know, this is what I love with this platform that I've created. It works. Mm -hmm. It's been impactful and effective. People love it. I, I certainly tried to keep it very fresh right. and interesting. Um, but I, I, everybody I invite around here, I don't need you to come preach the word. I need no. you to make the word live livable. Don't to come very come 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 in in everybody exactly. everyday terms because people are desperate to know what it is to love, how to love, and you know, and they they. They want to know it, and, and for some reason, we have failed in that regard, mm -hmm. and so they welcome topics like that. Right. You know, and even, you know, me being a pastor, folks, uh, some folks got a problem you taking off like that mask, so to speak. But I like what Paul said. I become all things to all men by, by all possible means. I may save some. When I come on this show, I'm mindful that there are some people that are not walking with God. There's some people that have real issues in their relationship. And I don't just speak based upon my point of view, the point of view that so many men have in this nation. So what I try to do is to bring from a man's perspective when it comes to relating to the women and also from a woman perspective when it relates to the man. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. And so I really appreciate that. But I want to tell you all something. This is so amazing. So my general manager... Um, she wants you to know, you're speaking of Grand Bahama, and you've said this before, mm -hmm. and a number of people who are on the show have family and friends in Grand Bahama say, Shanique, you don't understand how Grand Bahama really tunes in and listens in. In mm -hmm. fact, they know Karen is in Grand Bahama. Hello to you. Um, um, yes, absolutely. Say Freeport is in the house. Hello to you, Joanne, Inga, um, everybody. And so, Karen, listen to this, and everybody else who is tuned in. She's my, my, so my general manager said, um, Shanique, let Freeport know we're still coming, because we were supposed 
supposed to be in Freeport this week. Okay. But since the Queen um, was stripped, uh, we decided we'll put it off for another time. Mm -hmm. We're also going to other family islands as well. And so it's going to be, you know, we just want to kind of go out there sometimes and touch, feel, see, listen mm -hmm. to, and have more closer conversations instead of always um, from this point. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're doing that. So she wants me to tell you all that. Um, so Karen, listen, I will announce that well ahead. And, 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 you know, we can hopefully, I don't know, set up, we'll set something up nicely. We'll see exactly how it all works out. Hello to you, Levon, um, says good day. Um, yeah, yeah, and you're right, Karen. She says too many persons are walking around clad in masks. Mm -hmm. And that is what we want to do. You know, I have had requests for Fridays to include women because mm -hmm. people love hearing from you all, but they want to see what women what, how women will think mm -hmm. and and the responses. They want me just to bring you all together. Mm -hmm. I have not, here at the conversation, I've not brought, um, here at this, my new home, I've not brought the sexes together as mm -hmm. yet because I did that um, a few times and boy, was that something. Mm -hmm. um, it was hearty. Oh, listen. Mm -hmm. See, because I'll tell you, y'all say stuff that, that work on your nerve. Yeah. So the women don't quite, and it's so, not, so, it's so, not to so, be, so what are you saying? The women don't say stuff that work on your nerve? <clears throat> Um, hi, uh, hi, Dasaron. So, so, all right, so we just got to act like we ain't saying nothing just now. That's why oh, we can act. thank you. Listen to this. Listen, no, no, don't. You see, I tell you, I love Dasaron. She said, mm. I enjoyed your presentation at the University uh, Liberty last week. Thank you so much. But do, is that me or you? Because I know I spoke at the University last week as well. No, I wasn't at the Okay, University. so it's me. Thank yeah. you so mm -hmm. much. Thank you, thank you. I cute Kenny. Listen, she would be one of the people you would want yeah. around the table. Okay. She, she, yeah, she will tell the man like it is. Said, mm -hmm. what are we getting into today? And Karen said, we are so looking forward to that, Shanique. The conversation has a huge following in Freeport. Absolutely. Yes, I mm -hmm. absolutely know. Um, the lady from last week, the mom who schooled us, I need that 82-year-old lady to come around the table for real. Yeah. She really, she was the MVP. I, her name escapes me right now, but mm -hmm. um, Carlos, you remember, she yeah, called in. Yeah, yeah, she had some she, very good points. Very good points. She mm -hmm. said she and her husband are happy to this day mm -hmm. because they respect each other. Yeah. She loves him. She exactly. respects him. And she treats him so well that now he uh, treats her well. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and more than more than 60 years into their marriage, mm -hmm. he still treats her beautifully because she, how she loves secret. him. That's the secret. You know, you know, even the golden rule of life, do unto others, you have them do unto you. You know, if you say that you want to be respected, then give love because whatever you sow, you reap. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You can't expect like to treat people like dogs and expect mm -hmm. them to treat you like kings or queens. Mm -hmm. It don't work that way. Absolutely. You see and what I, I'm yeah, I agree with you. And that's what a, a number of the, 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 and that's why after last week's show, I got a request that Shanique, you need to bring women to that Friday conversation mm -hmm. because it'll be good to hear when a man says this and that's their point of view. Mm -hmm. What uh, see because women and men see I things just feel differently. You, I just feel you feel like you're getting dominated on Friday. Well, see? I do. I, so I, you, I'm, so I'm you the really, first to admit you're that. really looking for a reinforcement, so to speak. <laughs> but you ain't want to bring it cross like that, you know. But I feel you. No, but I no no I I I I, I believe me. I I take mental notes as well. I take notes from you guys. Hello, Shanicia. Big hello to you. Um, um, so, of course, they were talking to me, Darrison. Mm -hmm. Dar Darrison, Joshua says, at the University of uh, Bahamas. Um, mm -hmm. I spoke last week, and so he's saying that he enjoyed it. Thank you so much, okay. Darrison. I totally appreciate it. Yes, Karen, I think it was Miss Forbes. She really is awesome yeah, to listen to. Yeah, I think that's her name. Yeah, yeah Miss Forbes. Mm -hmm. Hello to you, Jonas. Hello, Larissa. Um, um, I'll tell you, Kendanique and Shanicia, they, uh, they have been around the table before. Mm -hmm. And so, it'll, you know, it'll be good to have, and, and, and they are both experienced women. Um, when one, you say experience, what you meant? Meaning one is married, one is married twice, uh -huh. and the other just one, you know, one marriage. But what I'm saying, they have a lot to right. bring to a conversation. No, and see, so, you got to be careful how you say that, you oh, know what I mean? See, oh, like okay. when, when I realize that when you go out on uh, national radio, you get different types of experience. understanding yes, people. Right, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, 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 I meant experience in terms of they the relationship. Right. <laughs> right. They they're not they're not they're not 
Uh, let me just keep moving because I always want to say that I'm virgins. <laughs> yeah. And so today, yeah, today we're going to talk about a number of things. I have a special guest at the top of the show, though, and he is here. Um, not sure where he is because I am scheduled to have him in the first uh, segment. But nonetheless, this is how it happens when you are on live television and radio and Internet. You have to keep it going. Um, mm -hmm. But I just wanted to kind of get him in and, and um, talk about uh, something that he came here to talk about today. But I guess we will fit him in when he finally makes it back here to the studio. Mm -hmm. um, but Carlos, you know, yeah, we were talking about a number of things. Among them, um, we were talking about... Um uh, <laughs> I, I totally agree. Yes, yes, yes. You have to come You have to come to do a show from our office one of these days. And where's your office, Shanicia? We have some hot topics here. Uh, but I need to reach mm -hmm. out to you. I totally do. Hello to you, Naj Naj Najana. Hello to you. Thank you so much, ladies, for tuning in already so early. Of course, I know Levan and, and Darison is there. So share the video. Share, share, share. And I want to hear from each of you. CBS Bahamas, let's make it happen. Okay. I can All come right. to CBS Bahamas and do a show. They just have to pay but a small fee. And mm -hmm. I will come there and we will have a great, great time. Hello to you, Renato, watching from Bimini. Good yeah. afternoon to you. Says good afternoon to you as well. Yeah, I want get down to Bimini. You know, I've never been to Bimini yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And everybody that I meet lately, they from Bimini. So I tell Bimini I'm coming. Bimini is coming down there soon. Bimini is I a quaint, nice down there. island. I'll tell you, it has an energy of its own. Yeah. It is and it is about as big as this table, but it's, it's um, it, it has a it has its own buzz. Somebody tell me the other day, say once they come into Bimini, just let them know so they'll have the hotel straight. You know what really? I mean? Yeah. Well, go right ahead then. Mm. Go right ahead. So I'm coming down to Bimini. Shanicia, I like that idea. Let's talk further. She says they have a good balance of male and female in at CBS. No, I was there one good. day and the cash system was talking about the show as well. Uh -huh. You know, I uh -huh. went there to pick up something. I think I bought one of those shower glass and they were talking about the show. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that we we drop like it all. Yes, no, but mm -hmm. that's what you, and that is what you do, and that's what people appreciate. I told you after last Friday, I got um, yes, Shanicia, I certainly will reach out to you because I think that is amazing and a great idea to have a, a conversation off. Yeah, yeah. On location, I think that would be good. A relationship, That'd especially awesome. in, a, in a, a spot like CBS, where. Um, you know, I have you and I have perhaps Levin, mm -hmm. and, but but then at the store, there Some are women people, and men. Right, so right. it's really good to get something in and really get I think into that something. Would be interesting. Yeah, no, I'm going to reach out to yeah. them and see exactly how we can make that happen. I, I, I love that idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And so, you know, last week we were, we, we started talking about, you know, what does a man do when he finds himself doing all he can, mm -hmm. um, or all he thinks he can, um, um, and the woman still is unappreciative mm, and she mm, fights still dog him out. with her words she fights uh -huh. him she tears him down and she um she she really just destroys what it is he's trying to build so how mm. does she figure after all of that she can go about keeping him and keeping mm. the relationship happy exactly. and and you know what's amazing so many people they feel in a relationship they could do whatever they want say whatever they want and at the end of the day expect the relationship to be healthy see one of the things i realized with men and women is that we got some issues and the the the, the this 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 issue right here right we feel right that if you listen to some people you will feel that men are completely dogs or women he no good like there's no good man or there are no good women out there you see what I'm saying? Which is so far from the truth. Mm -hmm. I believe you get a lot of good men, but in most cases, they connect with the... Uh, with the I want uh -huh. to say wrong. I don't want to say bad because I don't want to offend nobody. Mm -hmm. But they react with the wrong persons. And so can the, the same with women. Person, whether it's woman or male or female, can the wrong partner bring out the worst in you in a relationship and cause you to act in ways you would not act? Some people will yuck up the worst of your vexation. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people go into relationships, and I believe that people mean well when they go into relationships, but a lot of people don't function in relationships because that's something that we never talk. We talk Spanish, English, literature, and all that stuff. But what about relationship in school? I think that's something that needs to be incorporated in our curriculum where we teach people how to deal with things. How do you deal with the conflicts in a relationship? Because you're going to have conflicts. Mm -hmm. You know, in my marriage, I call them like heated fellowship. Mm -hmm. You have heated fellowship. Fellowship. But you got to establish rules that when we do have these uh, heated fellowship, how do we fight? And what is no, what is out of bounds and what is okay to say? Absolutely, because, they, they, you know, you can't go throwing blows 
or anywhere. And women could hit some blows. Trust me, a woman will make a man go there and commit suicide. Women, look at your brothers. Don't never take a woman on in no row. You know what I mean? You, you, you looking for defeat. It's cheaper you walk away from that row, say what you got to say. Walk away from that row. And for Jesus' sake, don't call them no name. Because they'll make you feel so small. Well, the, the woman is only responding, I think, to what it is that, you know, uh, what the man would say and how he would make her feel, etc. But anyway. But even when you listen to two women row, right? Uh, I never, look here. A row with a woman, right? You could sit down and get the popcorn. Mm -hmm. Two women rowing. Mm -hmm. Go on, carry a dry up wig. All kind of things. You'll hear some Harry, things. A brave woman that, will tell you, know, you some hurtful someone, things. I heard someone say, a woman, a, a woman will say to another woman, carry a big. Mm -hmm. How the hell you know? And they like talk about it. Other it's, women like tell woman that they, they, they front big. I'll tell you this, though. I don't, I don't argue. Mm. I don't do it. I don't believe in it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, have, I can't tell you the last years I've argued. Mm. Not to, on that level to say me and a woman, oh, so no, a woman. No, Please. don't make no sense. I, no, I have At no the end of the day, what you're hoping to accomplish. Exactly. Just just for the two of you all to look silly and say some stuff mm. that, that you regret, regret later. And this is the next one what really gets me, right? Why would two people, why would two women go out in public and have the biggest arguments and the biggest fight? You see what I'm saying? Over what? Fighting, if you got to fight over a brother, right? Honestly, honestly, the only thing you could do is decrease your value. Mm -hmm. You out in public fighting over a man? Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. gonna fight for something? Fight for your children or something. That's it. Fight for yourself. You see what I'm saying? But if a brother, if a brother out there where he get the two of y'all and y'all got to decide based upon the fight to see who you think gonna get the man, but you got an issue. Houston, mm -hmm. we got a problem. That brother should be made to decide. Look at you on her or you on her. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what you all fighting each other for? Yeah, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Then he come round one and say, man, don't worry about her, man. She just like that. He come round, you don't worry about her. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Look here, man. Women just like brothers to lie to them. Oh dear. And see, that's uh, today where we're going. Um, uh, part of where we're going is what relationship standards should we be having? What is it that we should re require, uh, particularly as women who seem to fall for anything? You know, a, a lot of, and, and men could sniff desperation and sniff it and think they could spot mm. it on us. And so, simply because we're desperate, because, you know, I hate to say we, because I don't like speaking things over myself, because women appear in the mm. eyes of a lot of men, and rightly so, to be desperate and, and just want a man, um, you know, it's, it, we, uh, the standards go out the window and that kind of thing. Uh, but part of that is what you said, how did Dickens, you can go find another woman who this man obviously then was playing with, um, to talk, but um, let me see which one us and B, mm. you, this thing, you think you this and the next thing. How you, mm. how you, how you got there? Why are you dealing with Chiquita? Mm -hmm. And when Tyrone right over there standing up looking at the Remember door. that fella said last week, he said, stop beating up Tyrone now because all Tyrone ain't alike. Listen, and he, I hope, I wonder if he's on the, he's, a matter of fact, he's married, right? Mm -hmm. His name is Tyrone. So he says, Shanique, my, my, my wife always jokes around with the Tyrone thing. And I said, mm -hmm. listen, it is nothing personal against Tyrone. I'm just playing around with the Erica Badu song. Um, but, but listen. But you know, Shanique, just on the, the question that you asked, right? I believe that the standards of being lowered because of the expectations from certain women. See, we all operate based upon length experience, based upon who you keep company with. They can determine what your actions and your response going to be to certain things. Mm -hmm. Because some girls, you'll be with some of your girlfriends, they see like your fell out or you all run across your fell out with somebody else. Child, what you going to do? Because that was me. But you know this, right? And I want females to understand this. The persons would always talk, but if it was me, don't got no man. And not only don't they have any man, if it were them, their actions would be totally different. You know, and, and, and that, that, is, that, that goes beyond relationships. So many women are so um, influenced by another woman, if that was me, I would. Right. And this chick ain't doing a doggone thing, but you mm. like a fool looking so stupid. Exactly. Um, um, just acting out of yourself. But if you get the right people around you, they right. say, honey, don't make yourself look that small. No, no. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it all, hurt, you, yes, but move on. That's why you got to be careful of who you keep company with. Mm. You're going to keep company with people who go in where you say that you want to go in life. You don't keep company with people. The only thing they know how to do is to carry on like ghetto people. Come on, man. You got to start up in your stand and when you up your standard, then people are going to treat you. What I'm trying to say is you be the time in the value in us. 
And based upon how we see ourselves, we give other people permission to see us the same way. But if you keep on thinking the way you always thought, then you'll keep on getting what you always exactly got. If you, you want to get something different, then you got to do something different. You don't get something that you never had before, then you got to do something that you never did. Up your standard, man. Stop settling. Yes. Uh, by the way, thank you so much. Um, uh, Renato says, and this is Renato and Bimini says, the best defense is silence. You are so, mm -hmm. there's power yep. in silence, Renato. Mm -hmm. Power in silence. Inga says, fighting over man is stupid while he's going to be laughing at the two of them. Exactly. It's not worth it. Grow up, she says. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, she added, women need to know their worth. Exactly. Um, um, Karen says it. I'd say, Karen says she'd rather know the truth. Yeah, you want to know the truth. You want to know. And, and mind you, he's not saying... Don't know the truth, you know. Mm -mm. You, the truth gives you power. Mm -mm. But once you know that, then that's not the time to go and talk about you fighting over. And then other ladies, but stop, stop going up on these women job. But you approach exactly. these women. No, and you, you no. If you wanna, if you wanna find the truth, ain't nothing wrong with finding the truth. You, you could. Be creative in getting the truth. You, you and the woman you go together, say, honey, I don't know you. You know what I mean? But this man telling me that he loves me. Now I understand that he's seeing you. Why don't let's see if we could find out what's going on together? I don't have no issue with you because your issue ain't with the other woman. Your issue with the brother, what you say or what you call in your mind, mm. that's who you need to get the truth from. And if you don't believe that that's what it is, then all right, you go to the woman, but don't fly up in the woman's face. No, no. Well, she's probably thinking the same way, just mine. Very true, and sometimes they are they are in in the blind. They don't know the guy is lying to to both of them, and so it's true. Charmaine is watching from Florida, says so she agrees 100%. Stephanie says, women need to have more self esteem. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, Inga says it's many ways to skin a cat. I totally agree. I absolutely agree. And Donnie, some people can't take the yeah, truth. And that's true. Some people, and, and uh, we like that, you know. Like, like, say, a brother. If he believe that his uh, woman is scheming on him, right, he'll go to her. Say, look, your man, tell me something, right? You, 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 you checking somebody else? He praying God, she say yes, but he praying God, she say no. Because he don't want to deal with the pain of the no. You see what I'm saying? So deep down, we really don't want to know the truth. We prefer to believe a lie, and this is why I say uh, all the time women call brothers like liars. But you know something? I believe that women cause men to lie. Now, let me say this before I get, like, do it. Now, hold up point right there, um, because we're going to pick up on that point. How women cause men to lie? Let's go stay right there. Um, Tommy, thank you for holding. Welcome to the conversation. Hi, good yes. afternoon. Mr. Craig Montana, you told me you always get an argument with a woman, try to bring your point to a certain degree. And after that, always let out the last thing. As long as she said something and you talk behind her, that argument will never end. Mm -hmm. I learned that. Thank you very much. That's so true. Did he ask it? Did you respond to him? Uh, I, I, I believe that he is true. You know, I didn't, couldn't hear him good, but the last part of what he said, right? Uh, we, we, we shouldn't run behind or try to maintain arguments. Arguments don't get nobody. Arguments is necessary at times, but you got to know when to cut it off. You see what I'm saying? You say how you feel, and if the argument is going in a different direction, somebody got to be the bigger one. I like how Michelle Obama say, when they go low, we go high. Somebody got to be, say, the, the, the mature one in the relationship to say, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, this getting out of hand. Let's take a break and come back at this. We're going to take a break. And speaking of that, yes, we're going to take a first break this afternoon. Uh, Karen says women like to confront the other woman, but they need to confront the man. She has a relationship with him, uh, not her. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take a break this Don't afternoon. Say, it is Roundtable Friday. Yes, and they want to know exactly how a woman Call encourages her. a man mm. to lie because you all be tripping. Uh, no, mm. don't even play it. <laughs> Stay exactly where you are. The conversation comes back right after this. Hey, have you heard? ZNS is everywhere you are when you download the new ZNS app. Whether you're on the move or just kicking back. 
Miss something on the news? It's there. Want to keep up with a live update? It's there. Or just want to listen to your favorite station? It's there too. Download the app now from the App Store and Google Play Store. At Martin's Wholesale, the concept is simple. The more you buy, the more you save. Yes, the more you buy, the more you save. This means that at Martin's Wholesale, when you buy in the same group three products, you get 15% off, six products, 20% off, and 12 products or more, 33% off. Martin's provides you with the largest selection of pantyhose, socks, T-shirts, school supplies, underwear, and much, much more. You can also sign up to be a reseller of BTC and Digicel Top Up and to save 33% on your purchase at Maiden's Wholesale. We also ship to the Family Islands, and that's not all, because when you shop at Maiden's, you can pay your utility bills, send a MoneyGram, RIA transfer, and purchase tickets from Sky Bahamas and Western Air. So visit Maiden's Wholesale today at any of three locations, East Street South, Robinson Road, or Lower Bogey Lutra. Call 325-4434 or 676-4435. I'm Megan Shepard, a reporter here at the ZNS Northern Service. Did you know that ZNS is right at your fingertips when you download the new ZNS app? Missed something in our newscast? That's okay. Simply pull up the app, swipe, and you'll find all of our news headlines and highlights. So what are you waiting for? Download the new ZNS app today. GM Appliances on Robinson Road has all your air conditioning needs this summer, like the Comfort Star 9000 and 12000 BTU 13 Sear for just $399, or how about the Comfort Star 18000 BTU just $599, or how about the Comfort Star 24000 or 36000 at the lowest prices possible. We also carry a wide selection of air conditioning parts, such as fans, compressors, filters, capacitors, or any part you may need. So, call today at 328-2083. We're located on Robinson Road. Are you drowning in a sea of credit card debt? Get a credit card bust alone at Money Managers, and we'll help you save. We'll convert your 18% credit card balance to 10% and help you take back control of your finances. Download our mobile app. Apply online at www.moneymanltd.com or call us at 356-3555. Money Managers, we're responsible lenders for responsible people. Salary deductions only. Shopping for school uniforms has never been this easy. s &M Uniform on Marshall Road East, formerly the Uniform Center, is bigger and better than ever now. With 50% savings for schools like C.I. Gibson, C.R. Walker, H.O. Nash, D.W. Davis, Stephen Dillett, J.H.S., and Gerald Cash. And s &M Uniform makes it real easy for residents of Carmichael Road, South Beach, Marshall Road, Pinewood, and surrounding areas. With 10% off uniforms for schools like Prince Will, Anatole Rogers, C.V. Bethel, Bahamas Academy, Sadie Curtis, and many others. s &M Uniform, Marshall Road. I'm a better woman than you, <laughs> and everybody knows this is true. Oh, yeah. When I walk down the avenue, man, I could get more whistle than you. <laughs> Girl, tell me that again. Girl, tell me that again. Girl, tell me that again. I'm a better woman than you. Hey, thank you very much, Margaret. Elizabeth, I don't know where you get these songs from. Mm -hmm. Better Woman is called by Eloise... Lewis. Mm -hmm, yeah. And so today we're talking about really a number of things, um, picking up from last week's topic, which is or which was, you know, men feel, many men feel around this city and I'm sure elsewhere that they do so much and they like honestly give a good effort. Um, but the women with their mouths and words just, just, just shred it and, and 
tear them down unappreciative um don't value what it is that they're doing and then you know it's like how does a woman expect to keep a good man are these men are calling themselves good but i'll tell you as we said at the top of the show there are great men mm. in this here this, this plenty same, good men this same here country yeah. this one mm, plenty good men and great women and yeah. great women yeah. We're not talking that. Now, we was talking about something before we go on to the break. We will talk about that in a minute. I want you all to meet my... this. Now, this is the guest who was really supposed to be at the top of the show, but we will shift gears after the news update just uh, for a bit to really talk about what he's doing. Um, Something incredible, I think it's into his, what, second or third year? Second year. Second year. Mm -hmm. We'll hear more about that after five um, and how you can get involved and do some stuff. Uh, I know... um, dozens and dozens and dozens of churches locally already mm-hmm. on board and it's really a super um event mm-hmm. that got off to a great start last year and will will even get bigger and be more impactful this year so we will hear more about that in a bit but ricardo miller it's good to have you around the table good to be back around the table it's always exciting yes mm-hmm. absolutely so of course you came in right in the middle of this so we will continue but before yep. we get there um carlos put a question on there or well, actually a statement that mm-hmm. women encourage men to lie Mm. I don't know how you feel about that, Ricardo. I believe that. Mm. Uh, the, the reason why is because a number of behaviors uh, encourage men to say what a woman want to hear mm-hmm. here versus mm-hmm. being... What is hey, the truth? What is the truth? You all mm. see Donnie and Inga? You know, mm. it's the truth. No. I mean, I'm mm. not trying to, to try to say, you know, women should, should just... Uh, uh, let it go. But what I'm saying is, accept the fact that if you ask a man something, if he really answer you the way you want to, mm, if you, 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 you want to anticipate that response, man, you stop, are man. you okay with that? No, you can but get feelings. Are you okay no, with that? No, women are not. We say it. Women say it. And guess what? Women Watch say it, but I've they met ladies, with that. I'm a married man, and, and you know, uh, tell me the truth, and then you tell me the truth. Then and tomorrow, then, then, mm, what's, what's yeah, tomorrow? Uh-huh. I caught you say I was. Uh-huh. I did. You can go on me fat. I didn't you, call you fat. No, I didn't call you. You asked me if you look fat in this dress. Yeah. Right. I ask you, do you want to hear the truth? Yeah, but why you have to say that? You, because, because because you we know to, the nature. Oh, or you would say, please tell me the truth. Now are you telling me yeah. the truth? Okay. I say okay. Then you mad with me. Why you, now you got me fast now? Understand, no, understand. You know and, and see, um, I like the fact that look at Esther and Karen. They said, they said, listen, that is not true. Well, I mean, say first, that. First thing, why, would you hold, that? why would you hold that for two days and then come back and say, uh, I heard you said two days ago right. I was. Fine. Mm-hmm. You've been sitting uh-huh. on that. You you dwell on it. Yeah, but the you said, get you up, want the truth, eight. but you can't handle the, the truth. Oh, y'all shut up. Let me tell you something. First of all, you don't have to preface your answer by saying, well, you sure you want... Just listen, yeah, you're fast, because lose weight, whatever. Because of the experience that we already had with the objective. You see what I'm saying? If, if Look, if you want to something before, and you know that costs you two days of silence, right? You are careful. Look yep. here. Yep. I'm not going to do that want anymore. To, I won't do this. I don't want to go here. No. Don't ask me. Hey, you know what I mean? When, Call the conversation and ask Shanique. Don't it. ask me that no more. Whenever a guy gets married, what is the number one thing you hear a guy say? Yes, ma'am. Uh, agree totally. Mm-hmm. All the old dudes mm-hmm. will tell the newlywed guy, go along with it. Make sure you go along with it. If you mm-hmm. want peace in the home, mm-hmm. if you want to be able to get some on time, mm-hmm. peace, not just P E A. No, <laughs> you 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 know how to flow. <laughs> you better, be honey. Able- that looks lovely on you. Uh, you know. Listen, no, you don't lie to a woman. See, y'all, see, uh, ladies, what y'all saying? Uh, ladies, 325 See, because we're not looking for you to lie to us, you know. But that's what women say. That's what they all say. That's what they say. Someone said, just I can answer, answer the, the question. Truth, just answer the question. That's easy to say. No. But so the listen, obviously, the hardship. And you see, this is why, and I was asked last week to please have women around the table because this is why it's important, I believe, and I, I will now take the advice for a future conversation that really begs it to have women here to hear the woman's perspective. I, I, I don't understand how we from two different planets when it comes to things like this. But see, yes, Esther, when, I think I'm Esther saying it's true. Esther, you know Esther, you know what Esther talk about. Esther talking about something else, what I'm saying. So here it is. <laughs> Bernardo says, Bernardo says, women do encourage men to lie. Sometimes we lie to protect your feelings or to avoid debates. Mm. For example, if she says, honey, do I look fat? Mm. Now you know she put pa- some pounds on, but you're going to say no, hun. So sometimes mm. it is to save feelings 
arguments and prevent arguments. Mm. Oh, so the man. Okay, so you are okay with the dude so, saying, you're looking a little fluffy, but that's all right. Yes. No, but see, I learned that I want, Giancarlo, I want you don't the, say I want that, that no truth. more. Right. What do you say? Honey, you just to wear like you. Yeah. Man, foolishness. Did that make me? That would make me vex. Because why would that make oh, you vex? I would think you, you are. Just I know what I, I have. Like you. And I like what I say that all the time. That's my response. I like what you just said because that's the truth. <laughs> Don't go that opposite way. Oh, I put I'm myself seen, in that position. And I've heard well. Three days later, my thing is the three mm. days later, five days uh -huh. later. So I look for me. You got with the house right there. So I look for me. The way you go that out of it, Are you referring to three days ago? Mm. And they still catch that thing up for you. Pull the car up in the garage, right? You pop see, in the name of. I hope y'all see how Esther straightened it out. Esther say I agree with Shanique. Um, mm -hmm. Sh Laverne, I know what I do. I always come here unarmed. Um, say Shanique, you need reinforcement. Oh. You're right. Um, so mm -hmm. Renato says Shanique, remember later that night when the lights go out and you can't, and you need that little thing. Yeah. See, that's what men, men mind on one thing. No, we like, end to keep in peace inside the home. Do you Shanique, think? all right. If you, if, let's say you and I married, right? And you come to me one time, honey, how I look in this dress, right? And I say, but that that make you look fat, all right? You go no, yuck see, it off, see, there's throw a it, way. it oh, no, Carlos, there's oh, yeah. a way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't so, fit you as nice as it should. Like, you ain't going to say fat. You so say that's what I say. So what I say, let's say, can you write out a script of how I should respond? Because I really need to, because all depending on how I respond, it's still, oh, you, you, the way you, your eye gesture mm. and how you respond. You could see I how said she took off the dress. But now my eye gesture, my facial. Ricardo, they take off the dress, uh -huh. grab it, and they throw it down. They don't want to get back up. Yeah, they yeah. throw it down, right? Uh -huh. And guess what, right? Now, you thinking that over. Uh-huh. So you come back later, and that same thing of as soon as a conversation come up. So I, so I fight, yeah. all right? So now, when it comes again, when yeah. that is died on, it comes again. Because I remember the last time how you throw that poor dress down <laughs> and throw that dress on his head. Yeah. I don't want you to damage that dress no more. Let me add to that. Let me add to that. Mm. You're cooking in the kitchen. I show up. I just mm. got in, parked the car, got inside, saw you in the kitchen, hold you by the waist and say, hey, babe. And you're like, so. Oh, you hold it. Oh, no, I'm going to say, um, Calvin. Why did you bring that up right there? <laughs> come on, man. See, see y'all got, got a flow, man. Y'all got a flow. Why did you bring that up? Don't come holding a woman in a certain area. She already feeling a little insecure oh, about. Man. Don't touch no fluff. Hi, Calvin. Thank you very much for holding. Welcome to the conversation. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, and Carlos and other gentlemen. Turn it up a bit. Can you turn it up a bit? Um... What I call a fun of, I think I know they did railroad you this evening, right? Uh huh. And I can have them railroad you in a good video. Oh dear. Um, I, I agree with Carlos and Mother. Look, the, the wife asked him how she looked in his dress, right? And he was only speaking the truth. <clears throat> if she looked fat or she looked slim, right? So she would rather him tell her a lie to say she looked slim, and all the she looked fat. She, she, she would respect a lie quicker than she respect the truth. I know him. You know what? You know what? Um, um, where Calvin is? <laughs> Calvin, what I'm, see, a woman, a woman wants the truth, but you can't come and say, "Oh, um, you're so fat," or "You look fat," or "There's a way." We are not. For example, if a guy says, a husband says to a wife, they're getting ready to go somewhere, and the husband say, "Well, babe, you know, how do I look in this?" A woman ain't gonna say, "You look fat." A woman is going to say, you know, um, maybe we should put on something else. She may to tell you, yes, this thing is a little snug by the around the, the middle, or it, it's it. You can see it's a bit tight, but she ain't going to tell you you fat. You sure? Yes. How you know that? What do you mean? How I know that? Yeah, how you know that? But the truth is, you guys that? wouldn't have a problem. If we ain't got a problem if we overweight. That course is going to do something about it. And, and watch this. If a fella got a little belly, he said, boy, you love me for this mm, belly, right? Cushion for pushing. Come you on. know how we call it. Um, it, if, anyway, uh, uh, Tanya, how you doing? What's, what's up? How you doing? Levon says, me as a man, if a woman asks me if you ain't want to hear the truth, don't ask me. I don't practice lying. Um, mm -hmm. um, um, Esther, this is exactly what I'm trying to tell the guys. You know how many things we do to spare a man's feelings? 
Do you know how many things Esther and every lady there, Tanya, you are married, all of them, I, you know, I, you know how many things we say or do or whatever to spare a man's feelings and we massage it nicely. Mm -hmm. We massage it nicely. You mm -hmm. all need all that. Okay. that. For true. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're, if you're arguing, that's, you know, I mean, that's time for to get well, nice little charm. them little things yeah. up on, and yeah. then they spank it at you when you're at your lowest point. You all know it. <clears throat> Ms. Smith, thank you very much for calling into the show today. Welcome to the conversation. Yes, good afternoon, Shanique, and to your guest. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, now, what, your, what the gentleman was saying a while ago, if she asked, asked him, if, do I look fat? And he said, if you want to hear the truth, I think he is true about that. I Shut agree up. with him with that, because you have to tell him the truth if, it's fat, if she is fat or not fat. So you're <laughs> saying that they are tr they're speaking the truth when they say yeah. they can't tell the woman, the wife, the truth? No. If she asks him, say, do I look fat in this dress or do I look fat? And then he will say, do you want to hear the truth? And then if he is about to tell her the truth, he is right. That's all I have to say. Thanks. Miss Smith, I appreciate that. I appreciate you calling and saying it. I, and I, you know what? I, okay, if a woman asks that, maybe she knows already. She, um, my thing is, why are you asking me that if you know you To fat? get your opinion. I mean... Uh, but you don't want my opinion. You don't opinion. want my opinion. Call your girlfriend. Send her a picture and ask what her. What you think Because in this you want to take the answer. You remember Not what this started out, right? Remember what this started out, right? We said that women cause men to lie. We want to lie because we don't want to go to the drama of her here in the hey, truth. a cold shoulder at night. She's... I gotta go to through. You. I, I gotta go crap. through. I gotta go through days, right? Uh huh. Ah, uh, this little attitude over one question. Yep, yep. Man, I can give you what you want. And you train me for that after a while. Mm, that's what I'm saying. The yep. whole thing was that men teach, I mean, women teach men how to lie. Yep. It's, it's not that we to won't lie. tell the truth. We want you to be happy. So if you, if you, if you overweight, Right? And you want to hear that you look good. We tell you what you want to hear. It ain't only overweight. It could be even how you cook. Mm, it uh -huh, could be something you uh -huh. are prepared, but it wasn't that good. No, nah, no. Nah, yeah. I got in trouble with that before, I right? I got in no, trouble with that before as well. One when second, gentlemen. Right, right. See, see, one thing with y'all. Y'all, y'all like to figure y'all are speaking your mind. You can't, how you going to, how, how do you say the food is not good? What do you say? I mean, no, you, you, you don't can, say that. One at yeah. a time. I learned that when yeah. I first got married, right? Yeah. Um, my wife, she cooked some spaghetti. She was a little salty, right? And I didn't want to eat salty spaghetti no more because we just starting out. I said, hey, are you on the salt? You see what I'm saying? Now, I learned later that you don't say it's salty. You say it's highly seasoned. So when you said it's salty, what happened? Boy, she ain't talking no more. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got no more. Because you got out of the What'd you say, Ricardo? I got married and I thought, you know, my wife, I told her I love macaroni. I mm. really do love macaroni. Every time I come to that and I eat a piece of macaroni. And so I told her, she said, I think I can make your macaroni. She should know better than she oh, could not make the macaroni. She, she thought can't thought make she the kind of macaroni she is she used to. She thought she could make macaroni. So mm. when she put that thing on the plate, I said, what is this? I, I, said, I said, what is this? No, you should not have said that. I had no clue. I was 25 <laughs> this, years old. This woman is not Bahamian um, Carlos, right? Yeah. So she is trying to learn some dishes that mm -hmm. he is native, if native, is native mm -hmm. to his country mm -hmm. and what he is used to. I now, you know, honest. black Americans, they got right. that little, little right. watery situation, uh -huh. what that is. Yeah. I didn't know that mm -hmm. really after that, I realized. Mm. See, see, again, go back to how this started. Yep. If he had lied, uh -huh. he wouldn't have found himself in that trouble. Hey, what's you the, know, what's if, if he didn't say, oh, this is nice. <laughs> she never cooked macaroni again, tried to make it out again. But here's the deal. I never said that anything was not good after that. Because uh -huh. you, you, I realized, I didn't learn. I, I realized she didn't want to know what I thought. Mm. In all honesty, no. no, she wanted to know. But no. when you say, what is this? That's like, that, that's like a slap in the face. You but know? I can tell you what. But the spaghetti is be on point now. I be licking the blade now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, so sometimes, right? Sometimes, right? A women need to help understand men at times. It's not just like you want to be understood. We want to be understood too. I, but I think there's a great divide and a great gap with, and and I think women do. Ladies, I want to hear from you all. Women do their part. 
daily to understand a man. Some women, some women, some women. Women do their part to understand a man. Why is it that men, why, please, why is it that men can't seem to make that same effort to understand a woman? We're going to take a break right now. Will and May continue to hold. I will get you right after the uh, break. Please stay exactly where you are. The conversation comes back right after this. Megan Shepard, a reporter here at the ZNS Northern Service. Did you know that ZNS is right at your fingertips when you download the new ZNS app? Miss something in our newscast? That's okay. Simply pull up the app, swipe, and you'll find all of our news headlines and highlights. So what are you waiting for? Download the new ZNS app today. ZNS is everywhere you are when you download the new ZNS app. Watch our live channel to keep up with what's going on in the nation. News updates, we've got you covered. Tune into our radio stations with just a swipe. On the road, on the go, we're here with you. Available for download on the App Store and the Google Play Store. GM Appliances on Robinson Road has all your air conditioning needs this summer. Like the Comfort Star 9000 and 12000 BTU 13 Sear for just $399. Or how about the Comfort Star 18000 BTU just $599? Or how about the Comfort Star 24000 or 36000 at the lowest prices possible? We also carry a large selection of air conditioning parts such as fans, compressors, filters, capacitors, or any part you may need. So, call today at 328-2083. We're located on Robinson Road. This week, Arts and Entertainment Showcase is back with another exciting series. Come and take a journey with us. Make new discoveries. Meet new friends. Get your groove on. And find your inspiration. Watch Arts and Entertainment Showcase, Thursday at 8 p.m., Saturday at 7.30 p.m., and Tuesdays at 10 a.m. on the ZNS Network. Two minutes. Register today at www.suppliers.gov.bs or call the help desk at 604-1049 for assistance. We try a lot, you know what I mean? I'll tell you this. So so speaking of, and let me tell you, let me tell you how these men gotta be so careful. Porsche, I don't know if you may put this out there. So Porsche came in here during the break. And Porsche said, you know, when her and her husband, you know, they first got married and everything. And so her husband, just like these men, the audacity, um, <clears throat> this, I don't know, this this ain't quite how it should be. It's a little off, it's a whatever. She said, Oh, okay, no, I can't cook there, that's how it is. And from that day, he's been cooking. Mm -hmm. And that's what women do. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the same thing. That's the same thing. What are you saying? I stop. You can't handle the truth. It, it, no, no, it's not, it's not that she couldn't handle the truth. Her thing is, okay, okay you let's say fix it's it. off, you cook. She didn't like the truth. Right? And because, like, you know, she catch feelings, like, like, oh, I think I'm saying most women be emotional because all they do is catch feelings. Women catch feelings women easy. Catch feelings real easy. Easy, over the smallest Facial set of things. So, so what What's we do, because we don't want to have to deal with that, let me try to see if I could now adjust and change my response. Mm -hmm. They say a soft answer. Turn away rot. Uh, the interesting thing, Shanique, what I've discovered is, you know, I can get upset, all right? I get upset, but guys get upset for minutes, seconds, maybe a few hours. Women get upset for days, okay? I'm mm. talking to you, mild attitude for days, and that's not good. And um, because of things like what you asked me, mm -hmm. you asked me, what, what do you think about the breakfast? Um. Well, you know, well, I'm not cooking breakfast no more. What? Mm. Okay, man, the breakfast was delicious the best breakfast i've ever had ladies I mean, the, be, the like best the best thing it. the mm -hmm. best way to get around that make the man green smoothie he needs that more than any grits and see, all the stuff you're cooking anyways see see the evidence is the proof is in the pudding you see what laverne did right she said godly man don't do petty lies now she in her feelings now because we she say what you don't know what laverne feeling you don't know what laverne feeling yeah, she she in her feelings they be like godly man don't tell petty lies we're trying to make a point without women 
but uh, encourage brothers to lie. Oh, my thing is, is it eatable now? <laughs> you know, just leave it alone. Don't worry about the differences. I'm not really lying. Yeah, yeah, I'm just eating it, man. Yeah, let's just let's eat this. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. Hey, you fresh. put it on the plate. I'm going to eat it. How was it? Hey, man, I'm full. I appreciate you. Ladies, you all see that. You all see. And you know what? It, it is kind of on the petty end. Because you all see that just the things men fixate over. Whereas, and see, that's what I'm saying, the difference between men and women. You mm. all could cook something that's fresh, that's this, that's the next thing. And you know mm -hmm. what a woman does? Behind your back, she may add, but she need to add to that, and she just eating. Because she ain't going to tell you it off. She ain't going to tell you it's this or it's locking that or it's the next thing. She's not going to say that. No, she would. My wife tells me. She was like, uh, he can't cook. <laughs> And no, so, no, if you're, if you're absolute horrible, then stay out the kitchen. Now, nah, nah, lucky, I is a beast in the kitchen. No, nah, I can put that on. You see what I'm saying? I, I is a beast in the Point kitchen. Place? You see what I'm saying? And I made a mistake. I started cooking. And because I started to cook, then my wife, she don't want to cook no more. She's you a smart woman. She's very and smart. And my daddy warned me about that. He said, don't. Now, look here. When we say, right, that men cause, our uh, women cause men to lie, right? We're not telling or advocating for men to lie. That's not no, what we're saying. No. So I see some comments coming, but a lie is a lie. That's not what we're saying. No. What we're saying is that you can answer it without coming out and telling the truth and hurting people's feelings. Like I said, right, if my wife comes to me and she asks me if she look fat inside a thing, Mm -hmm. I would not say that you look fat. I would say, honey, I like you the way you are. I don't right. like that. But, that's, see, but, but that's why, not a lie. Why are you so you want me to lie? It's no, not no. Why are you saying I like you the way you are? That mm -hmm. mean I fat. So if I tell you you're fat, then you gonna you gonna no, come no. and tell me I call you fat. No. Oh, and if wait. I if I say that you're not fat, then I lie. No, there's a way to say it. The way right, tell, okay, do you like me in this? Well, you know, I mean, it's nice, but I I don't I don't think it's fitting you. The the way it should. You know, it's so just... So you're going to be fat now. If you, uh, Willem, I thank you very much for holding. <laughs> Welcome to the conversation. Yeah, this is Mrs. Smith and Mom. Miss Smith. Miss you know Smith. how long I've been holding on? Willem Smith, how are you? I'm right here, and yourself? You're right here, my dear. Well, good afternoon to you and good afternoon to your guest. Good afternoon. I don't know I don't know what these men are talking about, you know. Thanks, Miss Smith. when you put on a dress, and I always ask my husband... How do I look? Maybe I may have two dresses I'm going out in, or I mean, I, I'm, you know, out for that occasion. I might have two out, or pants, or whatever. Uh -huh. And I'll say to him, how do this look on me? Mm -hmm. Which one do you prefer? And he would say to me, I prefer that one. Okay? If I put on a little weight and my dress is a bit tight, well, my goodness, if I don't know that, God help you. I supposed to know when my dress isn't fitting me right. And the, and the I don't is. need to ask my husband if I put on any weight. No, and mm -hmm. so, and so, and so, so I'll, I'll ask you this. And so, what do you think then if he answered something like, um, Carlos, what would you say? You will say again. What is the response? Do I look fat in this? If she look fat? Yes. No, and I like you the way you do are. Do you? But, but what do you think the response? I like you the way you are. What? Right. what He's not telling the truth because right, see, I know. Look, that's why I, I said men don't know get it. That I do not see. look slim in the dress. I already know that the dress is not fitting me the way it, it used should to be. Fit me. It should it's be fitting. that I want an idea of even though I put on a little weight, if I could still probably wear that dress and look nice. So it, if he but, tells me, but he loves me just the way I am, I know he's lying. Thank you, Miss Smith. But, but, but Miss Smith, Miss Smith, had a different you, question, if, though. If I ask you how I look in this dress, you say, sweetheart, mm -hmm. you know you put on one or two pounds, so I think the next dress will look better. I appreciate that, because let me tell you, when I get dressed, or my husband, both of us, we ask each other how we look. And let me tell you mm -hmm. something, once I know I look good, I don't need nobody to tell me, I don't need no one to, you know, exactly. to tell me uh, well, how I look. Mm. And uh, men should not lie to women about things. Just if if you if we cook and the food ain't good, say sweetie, you know, you got you got you know you got to back up a little bit on this one here, a little bit on the salt here, or something like that. Mm. Just tell the truth. We may get a little annoyed, but then the later we'll realize, you know, when I be tasted here, you know, that really kind of salt. You know, okay? But now I can tell you, women get back for a couple of days, so I can get back for weeks. You've been married for over 40 years, Miss Smith. That's right, I've been married for 43 years, and I could, I telling you now, I know the ins and the outs of marriage, and the ins and outs when men telling the truth for men, they lie, and they can't lie too good, you know. Mm -hmm. Men can't lie that good? No, they can't. No, mm -hmm. no, men, I want you all, men, I want you all to realize that you all cannot lie very good. No. Mm -hmm. Especially when you got a sweetheart. Because we know. 
anybody with any sense and any woman with any intuition, she knows something ain't right. So trust me, y'all can't lie that guy. Miss Smith, mm-hmm. you, Miss Smith, you are getting a lot of support here on the live feed on social media. I, I Thank hope you. So. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. And we're going to head to the five o'clock break. But before we do, Renato says that is why he spoils her. I wonder if he's talking about Mrs. Lying. He says by cooking. When we first met, now she gets intimidated to cook at times. So in order to build up her confidence, I say I love it. Um, <laughs> but, but by the way, Shanique, um, you know, you know, I don't cook. No more. No, I you know, know you don't cook. Your husband is a great cook. Oh, my God. And yeah. let me tell you something. I don't, I'd be right here sitting up in the morning when he go drop the man away. And if he come back 11 o'clock, I'd still waiting for my breakfast. Yeah, mm. yes, yeah. I he do. has but a spoil. But the key, yeah, the key, I'm, I'm the key that I want to point out. I realize I'm spoiled. But you know something? I think I deserve that because I've spoiled him in so many ways, too. Yes, you have spoiled him. He And, 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 and now he is returning the favor and he is doing a great job Thank in it. He's you. an this awesome cook. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Yes, yes, absolutely. Ms. Smith, thank you so much. You're welcome. A, a, yes, key, a key to what Ms. Smith said. She didn't ask her man or her husband if she looked fat. She said, how do I look? Yep. Now, that's a fair question. Fine. You see what I'm saying? See, see, if you come and you ask the brother, how do you look? He ain't gonna come and say, well, you look fat. Right. right. I'm not, no, but if you ask me if, do you have put a brother back against the wall and like that. The backup statement she then came forward with, which is what I would have supported, she says, uh, which one of these dress you prefer? Exactly. I would have in turn said, That's easy. I like that dress. Right. I wouldn't go with question thought number one, which mm. is, do I look fat? And do you like this dress? So then, women, like so then dress. before we go to the news at five, women need to stop asking, do I look fat? Right. Yeah. Don't put that in Take, the, take that question out. put that out. in the conversation. And then if when I respond, you... I, I, I damn if I do and I damn if I don't. Don't do that. You can come with two gra- two dresses, like Miss Smith said, I and say, that. look with one of the... I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can ladies. ask me how you look in this. I can do that. Yeah. Ladies, I but tell when you, you, obviously... You, you come ask me if you look one. fat. Yeah. If you look fat, man, don't do that to me. Uh, I, ladies, I obviously, that. then, it's us uh, once again, so we got to know what to ask and how to ask. When we come back mm. after the news at 5, we're going to talk about the standards in relationships. Are we so desperate that we are lacking standards, that we are refusing to even implement standards? Stay exactly where you are. We're also going to talk to Ricardo about the National Children's Ministry Day is happening in October, just a couple weeks away, and he is here laying the foundation. Uh, I was really, really super. There's a lot of things going on with that, so we're going to talk about that as well. Stay close to News at 5 is straight ahead. The views and opinions expressed on this show or program are not necessarily the views of the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. Five o'clock. News is that. You're watching the ZNS Network, the People's Station. Nice news update live at five o'clock. Good afternoon, Bahamas, and all of these mornings. Here's what's making news at this hour. Private interest is now being generated for the Grand Lucayan Resort in Grand Bahama, and with funding now in place for the property, the next move will be to ensure that the resort is turned over to a suitable buyer. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis said this will be the focus of the board of Lucayan Holdings Limited. Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, says the Ministry of Tourism is working diligently to boost the economy of Grand Bahama and rebrand it as an ecotourism destination. You can hear those comments in tonight's newscast. And in news from the courts, a 54-year-old man accused of having unlawful sexual intercourse with a 4-year-old girl back in November of last year expected to walk free soon. A jury was in panel to hear the case of defendant Audie Glinton. However, the Jamaican mother and child did not show up for court. Details of those stories and more coming up in our two-hour national newscast. It starts in less than an hour at 6 p.m. We hope to see you then. I'm Altavis Munnings. As always, thanks for watching.
Poetry is life to me as a, as a tool for expression. I don't know where I would be without poetry. My name is Omekongo Dibenga. I'm a motivational speaker, I'm a poet, and I'm a rapper. I'm here in, in the Bahamas uh, on behalf of the State Department where the U.S. Embassy has brought me down here to engage in a week of poetry and using arts as a tool for expression at the great C.R. Walker High School where I'm working with 50 students. Thanks of 700 islands and keys with the beautiful sun, sand, and sea with the cool and refreshing breeze. Oh, you wish you were me? Because I live where you vacation. So Milo Butler was the father of our nation, Nassau, a beautiful destination. I believe that the arts can serve as a tool for inspiration for others. The arts literally saved my life, so I believe that helping other people express themselves can save their lives as well. The beauty of the way we dress, we spend more than we buy for less. Straw, androsia, seashell, the clothes our ancestors wore with a passion. We trade these all away just to keep up with the New York fashion. A lot of people are getting involved in these issues because they don't have a means to express themselves. We could deal with so many issues of violence that are going on in our community if we just give our young people in particular an opportunity to say what's on their mind. One thing I say is that one way or another, our youth are going to make themselves heard. My way of life is pretty far-fetched. Living on the streets, stealing from the stores, praying to God I don't get kept. I sat on the blocks, watching my people got shot. I cover my eyes with my locks, because I don't want to end up in a box. We have those scared to pursue dreams because there's no support in the homes. And players all around conform to the world. So the statement is true. Sometimes gloans. Why do we stay quiet? As each day passes, we are put back into oppression. The same factor our ancestors fought against, even in times of their depression. I look in the mirror and I become defiled, yet I still ask, who am I? They tell me I am greatness, but is greatness really me? Who am I if I cannot succeed? Who am I this? I still wonder. But soon, as the image is presented before me, in the view of black and white, the answer comes in sight. At the minute of my last light, the heartache they feel passes on. The minute they clear the fog and declare me as just a dog. But the students here really taught me something. They really showed me something. And quite honestly, I'm just so impressed by the way in which they are very grounded in what they want to do with their lives. Their, their goals are in order. I don't see why every student who I encountered this week would not be able to, to reach their goals. You've been listening to news, highlights, and weather to the hour over the Bahamas Radio Network. This is the Bahamas Radio Network. It's now five minutes past five. Back to the conversation with Shanique Miller. From 1936, we have been informing, educating, and entertaining Bahamas. Put our record up against any other, and you will see that there is simply no comparison. The views and opinions expressed on this show or program are not necessarily the views of the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. Let's talk about love, health and wellness, transformation, yeah we got it. Discuss your breakthroughs, national issues, this show will take you there, yeah. yeah. Taking it step by step, living your best life yet. Getting stronger and living longer, let's figure out the questions for ya. I need a little conversation, you need a little conversation. Conversation. Welcome back to the conversation. It's a round table Friday and we are going to shift gears a little bit um, and then get back on topic. Um, but first, I'd like to acknowledge my sponsors. Today's show brought to you by the Ministry of Finance, Almighty Computers, Midens Wholesale, s and Uniforms, Money Managers, GM Appliances and Club One Fitness Center. Thank you all so much for coming on board the conversation, for supporting the show. I, I just love, love, love welcoming all of the wonderful sponsors. This happens to be the biggest and 
and best platform for you to just get it out there. We are streaming live on YouTube. We are streaming live on Facebook. We are on television, channel 211. We are on three, count them, three, three radio stations. And so you can't beat that. We can't, you can't beat that coverage if you try nowhere else. So get on board. Get on board and get your event, your business, your merchandise, whatever it is that you are doing. Uh, yep, the conversation is your vehicle to make it happen, right? And so before we um, talk to Ricardo Miller here, uh, let's go to Mr. Knowles. Are you there, sir? Okay, I think Margaret is gonna put that call through when she comes. Um, <clears throat> Ricardo, it's good to have you here. I know we are in the middle of talking about standards and relationships and, and how, you know, how we lack it so much. And that's why we end up sometimes in situations. Mm -hmm. um, but you are headed into year two, the yep. second annual Bahamas National Children's Day Ministry Day event coming up in October, early October. Um, first of all, congratulations for uh, year number two. And it looks even bigger really? this year. Super. And then so many things on the calendar of events as well. Um, it's really super. Talk about this year's uh, National Children's Day Ministry, Ministry thank, Day. Thank you, Shanique. Uh, last year was <laughs> incredible, as you stated, and we're excited about October 10th through the 14th. It, this is an initiative designed to help churches throughout the Bahamas capture the importance of reaching the next generation. And so the goal is to help every denomination, every church to learn strategies and methods that will help them to uh, connect better with children uh, from within their congregation and with the community. And so it's a five-day initiative starting off with a pastor's breakfast at the Miles Monroe Diplomat Center on Wednesday, October 10th. That means we got pastors from all over the country. If you're in the if you're in Nassau during that time, we encourage you to be a part of that breakfast. It's a free breakfast, Shanique, uh, free of charge, where we want to help pastors to capture the importance of reaching children and the role kids play in securing the faith within a congregation and the church at large. And then on Thursday, we're going to have what we call uh, a Children's Ministry Workers Appreciation Reception at the Nassau York Club. And that's a free event again. We're you're doing, just you're just yeah. doing everything free with this event. Well, you know, it's we're children's ministry workers. We don't we don't take in the kind of funds like other entities would have. And so we're trying to make sure that those who have been committing their lives to serving children for free for the most part, that they know that they're appreciated. And so we're having this reception uh, to celebrate children's ministry workers, Sunday school teachers, and there are just so many of them. During that event, we'll we'll be. Is we'll, Sunday school still uh, alive and well? <laughs> Sunday school. Mm -hmm is still active in a lot of churches. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's changing. It's mm -hmm. it's not the, the program that is currently uh, needed for the most part. A lot of what Sunday school did for us is no longer relevant needed. and Yeah, unrelevant. I mean, and, 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 and how important is it to kind of keep up, to keep young people, millennials and even younger, engaged in the concept and the, the idea of Sunday school? Well, uh, this is such a great question because uh, relevancy is important for reaching the next generation. You put a two-year-old with a tablet in his hand, he knows how to turn it on, and you're thinking, how in the world did he figure out how to turn on my phone? Uh, it's because they were born in that. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times, we try to bring them back to where we are, mm -hmm. when in truth, they don't need to do the marbles and the top mm -hmm. like we did, because mm -hmm. things have evolved, you know? Mm -hmm. Some people are trying to hold on to that which is no longer necessary. And those things were there for a time, <laughs> And for a reason, and I tell people, don't fight for methods, fight for principles. Principle remains the same forever. Methods change. So I was at a church not so long ago, and the guy said, he said, all of our children have to have a paperback Bible. He said, we don't want them with their phones. We don't need them with their tablets. They are a distraction. And, and mm. then he's going to take me for lunch. He said, I wonder why young people aren't coming to my church. And that's what I was about mm. to say. I mean, because the criticism mm. is, mm -hmm. and I'm sure not just in the Bahamas, but yep. uh, uh, young people ain't going to church. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't, uh, yep. across the, the, across mm -hmm. the, the, I mean, the from right. five years yep. old and up. That's right. And mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, you obviously, but then they, they scream the church and look at the church when times get real rough. Yep. So how do you, as the church, I don't know, reformat, rethink, restructure to reach an appeal to that, to the, the young people? The struggle is we love tradition. We love habits. We Especially love what, in the Bahamas. Yeah, we love what we're used to. And unfortunately, uh, there are some people, if given the option, they would still fight for the horse and the carriage. 
when in truth the automobile came to replace it. You know what I'm saying? And there's always something that's replacing something and that's one of the reasons why I call it it's the method that you have to pay attention to. And don't you want the, 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 the transportation factor is the mode is the method but getting there is the principle. You trying to figure out how do I get there not the method to which I'm getting there. And so once you realize that the paperback Bible had its time, now it's the digital page where kids don't want to see 500 pages. They want they don't want to feel 500 pages. They want to see one page at a time. You know what I'm saying? And so it's still the word, you know, mm -hmm. but yet some people have gone so far to say, turn those phones off. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. you will lose them even if they're still mm -hmm. in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so there's just a lot that needs to be looked at and that's one of the reasons why this children's ministry, uh, the initiative evolved and has been presented. Uh, we believe that we can make church irresistible to kids without touching the principles of the faith. And so you 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 stay focused and you stay hold and grab hold of what the principles are. Yep. Um, traditionally, what Christianity yep. is yep. that that whole sort of like uh, foundation. Yep. But then you have to kind of you have to retool it with, and, with and, and tweak it yep. um, um, to number one reach today's generation yep. and 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 then to keep them engaged. Yeah, most certainly. You know, I, I was at a church not so long ago, and the pastor said uh, he said, "Hey, I can remember when we didn't want a television in this building." You know, you're, I don't know if you remember the years when they used to mm -hmm. call the TV the one-eyed mm -hmm. devil, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and George Bonner says that the church is 25 years behind culture, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, people, I remember when I went on staff at a church in Dallas, and the, the, one of the pastors asked me, hey, Ricardo, are you going to be uh, on MySpace? You know, all of us have MySpace page. You know what I responded being fresh from the Bahamas? I said, brother, all I need is God in my space. I don't need mm -hmm. no MySpace. Mm -hmm. And I felt so good for saying, saying that. that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But in truth, I was speaking to the fact that I was a little bit outdated. Mm -hmm. and, and later on, I had to realize it was a mode or method, a principle that can be enforced within this method that will help me to be able to strengthen that's my right. message. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so that's what it's about. Um, the theme for this year, leading for a lasting legacy. Explain mm -hmm. that. The truth is we have all captured something as adults that needs to be passed on. And I don't think we're doing a great job at it. Uh, the numbers of children within our nation continues to increase while the number of children within our churches are decreasing. The faith factor of what we have achieved or what we have embraced need to be passed on. And so what we're saying to pastors, church leaders, Sunday school teachers, pass it on. Don't be a leader only for today, but make sure that you're building, make sure that you're leading to ensure that the generations to come will be able to hold on to that which you discovered. The truth is 2030 is coming. We're about to hit 2020, but most people aren't even leading with the mindset of 2030, 2040. It's coming and we need to start building our platform with that in mind. So you have to start thinking elementary. You have to start thinking middle school. You have to start thinking replacement and that's really what it's all about so our theme leading for a lasting legacy speaks to the fact of you could build a great building today you can have a thriving ministry today but if you don't reach children and if you don't reach youth, it's just a matter of time before that building become vacant and eventually probably even close god forbid you mentioned uh um you know, primary, uh, middle school, and and high school, etc. There is a part of this uh, National Children's Ministry Day, an island-wide school assemblies yep. day. That's Friday, October the twelfth. Yep. Uh, what is the concept behind that? We, we see the church should be partnering with the schools, and um, schools should be partnering with the church. For long times, uh, churches were. Uh, a center for learning and uh, strengthen a lot of communities and so we should not see them as separate from who we are and the truth of the matter is there are more of them there than where we are so we should definitely find ways to develop great relationship with the educational system where we can come in there partner with them to help connect with uh, children and families mm -hmm. uh, are the student Christian movement still very active on many campuses or like what is what is the thing now I think they are I, I don't know a lot about them uh, currently but I have heard that they're still active and I think they still have a number of training initiative to ensure that they're still growing through 
through the different schools. But our goal is to partner with, like that of the Christian, uh, Student Christian Council uh, movement. Uh, the Bahamas Christian Council is 100% on board with us. We have over 200 churches participating in this year's initiative. Uh, we will be holding, uh, hosting our second annual Children's Ministry Workers Summit, the largest of its kind in the Bahamas, on the campus of Queens College on Saturday. Super. Yep, on the, uh, on Saturday, October 13th. Uh, it's an all-day event, more than 16 breakout workshop sessions. We have more than a dozen uh, trainers from the United States coming in to train on different topics, how to build teams, how to recruit volunteers, how to uh, teach so kids can learn, mm -hmm. how to manage the classroom, how to remain relevant, and so forth. Just a ton of topics to help workers here, along with a number of other specialists from the, the Bahamas who will be joining with them. So it's going to be a great day of training. And then on Sunday, we're going to be having what we call National Children's Ministry Day Church Services. Where we're I see an S onto that. Yeah, because we're asking every church mm -hmm. to pay attention, give some focus to children. Encourage your congregation to remember that these kids are the future. Even preach a message challenging parents, maybe, to take the lead in the development of their children's spiritual uh, growth. Where do parents fall in this? Because, you know, you're reaching out to youth ministry workers and a lot of pastors and that kind of thing, and you've been going to schools, but where, what role do parents have in trying to and, and bring this all together and getting their kids interested in yep. and buying this message? Well, one of the things we are teaching this year is the workers have to get better at communicating and relating what you're trying to share with the child with the parent. The truth is most children's ministry workers, Sunday school teachers have kids, what, three hours max if they come on Sunday, maybe a midweek, while the week is 168 hours within a week. And so the parent gets more time with the child. And so one of the things we're going to be talking about at our training on Saturday, October 13, where we'll be helping our workers on how to relate to parents because there are a lot of people who love working with kids but they don't like parents and they don't like church leadership i just like working with kids well the children's ministry leaders of tomorrow those who desire to have success in ministry today have to learn how to deal with church leadership how to deal with parents and that's what we're going to be helping them to do next year our goal is to get more engaged with the parental responsibility of the spiritual development of a in child. order for this year for parents and everybody involved to really get on board I mean, paint a picture of a, a Bahamas where Sunday school is hip again yep. or children's church, whatever yep. they call it, is hip and the yep. in thing again. Yep. How does that Bahamas look considering what's in place now? Well, what, what it looks like is understanding that children are different and we are no longer in the 1980 model where the person in the front of the room is just outright in charge. Uh, the truth is relationship matters and you have to inspire, you have to connect. And so years ago, you showed up in a room and the teacher was there because they have a title and you were forced to comply. And your parents would whip you if you did not comply. Nowadays, they are learning that kids are different and one way of teaching children, be it the parent, be it the workers, is no longer the way to instruct the next generation. You have to teach the way the kids learn. Mm -hmm. You know, I left E.P. Roberts with an attendance certificate. I left R.M. Bailey with an attendance certificate and an E.P. Roberts was, was in special ed. It wasn't that I couldn't learn. It was the way that I learned wasn't mm -hmm. the way they taught. Mm -hmm. And so I went through the school system thinking I was dumb or slow, but the truth is they just did not teach the way I learned. I believe that the way forward is for us to be able to connect with the many different learning styles. Mm -hmm. You know, that requires the person to say, you know what, it's beyond me having the title. I'm the teacher and you're all gonna listen to me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's force, that's position, and position is the lowest level of leadership. You don't wanna force your way into instructing a child on where to go. You want to inspire them. Mm -hmm. You want to challenge them from within to want to follow you. Awesome, awesome. And so, once again, this is the National Children's Day event. It is super more than 200 churches yep, yep. Um, participating and registered. I mean, this is this is totally mushroomed yep. um, since last year. Just amazing. And so, um, contact information, social media pages, um, you know, all of that, that people can get more information. Is it too late to even get no, on board? We're we're early. We're, we're super early, and there's a reason for that, because we did not want to come with our media week, the week of, and people say, I will. 
wish they had said something. I wish I learned about this. You know, all year we've been speaking about this, and then we decided two and a half weeks before we're going to do our media week, which is this week, because we want people to plan. Plan now to be a part. You can go to our website, ricardomiller.com, and learn about the initiative. A lot of exciting things happening. Go ahead, get the number, register your entire team. Once again, it's not for any one denomination. It's for all churches. We have principles that are universal that we want to talk about in connecting and reaching the next generation. RicardoMiller.com is the spot to go. Amazing. And I want people to know that you are not just teaching this to say, oh, you come back to the Bahamas for a few days to do this. You lead a very thriving, active, very healthy youth ministry back in Dallas at your church. What has been some of the secrets for that church out there who is saying, man, these churches don't come to church. The youth ain't interested. This and that. You've been able to get such a, a nice bunch, I mean a big amount yep. um, where the, your youth department or ministry is is very, very active and energetic. You know, every year I get to work with more than a hundred churches. I'm, I'm a consultant <laughs> with a lot of the major churches in the United States and one of the things that I've discovered is, as the scriptures say, it says according to your fate be it done unto you. There are churches that are thriving when it comes to reaching young people. The truth is, if you don't believe you can, you won't. And so you have to maybe adjust the way you've been doing things so you can Mm -hmm. get the kind of results you're desiring. Mm -hmm. It's possible, but the way you're doing what you're doing may be the thing that's costing you. And because you don't want to change, it's the reason why you're not getting the kind of results you desire. So for me in the States, what I decided to do, and along with all of the other ministries that I'm working with as to helping their children's department, I had to become what I needed to be in order for the department Mm. to become successful. What has happened is a lot of people try to make the department comply to them Mm -hmm. and you're limited what God has called you to do is bigger than you so it's less of me and it's more of him being glorified through the process of making me the person that I need to be to lead the work that he's calling me to do so over the years I've had to become the person that he's needing me to be to be able to influence a hundred plus churches or to be able to reach an entire community and have hundreds of workers now uh, following the instructions that I'm giving someone say how did you know and how were you, how was you how was it that you were able to do what you do because I decided to submit myself to the process which ultimately have a return if you are willing to comply to the right way of doing things and that's what I want to say I mean you know we, we praise athletes for doing incredible things yeah. abroad mm-hmm. etc well you are doing incredible things in the church world abroad, you just mentioned that you are a consultant, a youth pastor consultant Mm -hmm. for over 100 churches, not just here, we even talking about here, we talking about throughout the United States. That's correct. Um, How have you been able to, and you kind of said it and talked about it just now, but just in real terms, Mm -hmm. how have you been able to, to accomplish all of that and still see it as ministry, still see it as, you know, something that is true to who you are and what the real what the real uh, motive is. Yep. Um, but the point is just making your mark yep. in the gospel arena. Man, I just love what I do, for real. I, you know, I tell people I'm a fish in water. I'm like a bird in the sky. I can do this day in and day out. Uh, the first weekend in November, I'll be at the Potter's House with Bishop Jakes again. I remember doing Megafest and thinking that was on my bucket list to do Megafest, do, to work for uh, uh, Joel Osteen Church. That was on my bucket list to do. Um, are, to, you, are you doing that as well? I'm doing that you, as well. You I've have done a relationship with them as well. I have relationships, solid relationship. And so a number of the people I'm bringing uh, for October, our national initiative, are some of the top voices in children's ministry uh, coming here to do training because they're like, you know what? We like what you're doing, Ricardo. It's been amazing. Are you responsible for, because I, I see your stuff on social media, are you yeah. responsible for sort of causing this revival in children's ministry for people to take a second look and say, hmm, and then he's calling it something different. Yeah. He's pr- approaching it differently. Yeah. Um, and then we need to bring, we need to partner with him and yeah. bring him on. Are yeah. you responsible yeah. for this sort of re, re this, this new interest, this yeah. new energy? It's amazing. A number of entities have stated that I've become <laughs> one of the major voices, if mm. not the leading voice for influencing the national or international platform for children's ministry. Uh, A couple of magazines have placed me as the number one person of color in the United States for children's ministry, Ministry Today, Children's Ministry Magazine, uh, Epitome Magazine, a number of others. Uh, And so I just like what I do. And the goal is 
I would like to see people find what they are called to do and stay in that lane and develop it to the fullest. You also have a, a talk show. I, I want to yep. talk about that uh, about children's ministry. Every Monday. Bri briefly yeah. talk about that. Yep. Every Monday I do a two-hour radio talk show in Dallas called Ask the Children's Ministry Guy. Uh, it's the number one children's ministry platform in the United you, States. Your, hold on. Your talk show is number one, too? Number one. Number one means down. number one. Number one, well, hands down. Decree a thing. Wide. Come on. That's awesome. Right. Yep. Uh, that's, that's congratulations. That's really yep. good. I mean, you are really, and I want people to understand, you know, you don't just pop up here, you know, occasionally, et cetera, but you are doing incredible things that that we all should be very proud of to say, mm -hmm. hey, the same way we celebrate Sean A and all mm -hmm. and many others, like there's Ricardo Miller mm -hmm. doing his thing in his arena and what he feels passionate about, what he's called to do yes. and doing it incredibly well. Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing. Well, I, I love it, Shanique. I believe if the future is to be changed, children are the agency to home change will come. And that's why I've dedicated my life. This is my 23rd year uh, uh, serving as a children's ministry leader, and it's been amazing what, to, what we've seen over the years. 20 plus countries and counting. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Once again, uh, before we go to the break, give us uh, just some information about um, the Bahamas National Children's Ministry Day initiative and schedule of events. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, join us this October. If you're a part of a church, make sure your church is aware of what's happening this October 10 through the 14th. Go to ricardomiller.com to learn more about it. Most of all, I would like to make sure that every children's ministry worker and the Sunday school teacher go to our website to register for this upcoming summit. Be a part of the gathering, the largest gathering of children's ministry workers, Sunday school teachers in this country on Saturday, October. October 13th. RicardoMiller.com is the place to go for more information. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, is there a Facebook presence as well? Oh, most certainly. Ricardo Miller one. Come on, Instagram, uh, <laughs> Twitter, uh, Snapchat. Uh, we're out there. Ricardo Miller Children's Ministry Day. Uh, you can't miss it. You just put in Children's Ministry. Ricardo Miller pops up. Yeah, yeah. You've really branded that really nicely, yeah. and it's and it's all for um, um, the best work there is on this planet. We all do what we want to do, and we all love what we do. Yep. But the most important important work on this planet truly is impacting people yep. to live Christ-like oh, lives yeah. and yeah. really, really super. This is the conversation. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to shift gears again. Ricardo is going to be seated right next to Carlos. And uh, we are going to um, continue our topic today. So big hello, by the way. Um, Laverne is uh, Laverne is really saying that you're doing a great job. That's my ministry for 15 years. She, too, is very appreciative of it. Says, yes, I appreciate you, Brother Miller, for your service service in the kingdom. Stay exactly where you are. The conversation comes back right after this. My name is Jeff Andrews. I'm a self-employed chartered accountant. Well, I had been listening to all the advertisements for a lot for quite a while and kept saying, I need to make the switch, I need, need to make the switch. Somebody finally convinced me to do the concierge service and switch over. They, they came and met with me, they let me know what I needed up front so that the whole process was very painless and took probably less than 20 minutes. I really like that we get regular service, I don't have drop calls or interruptions. The only time I have problems are when there's problems with the other carrier. No, I find the customer service people are, are very helpful. Um, I haven't had a need to use them very often, but they check on me on a regular basis and make sure that I'm happy with all the services that I'm receiving. I would and have recommended Alive to lots of other people, including all of my family members. They've all joined Alive and are very happy with the services as well. Robinson Road has all your air conditioning needs this summer, like the Comfort Star 9000 and 12000 BTU 13 Sear for just $399. Or how about the Comfort Star 18000 BTU just $599? Or how about the Comfort Star 24000 or 36000 at the lowest prices possible? We also carry a wide selection of air conditioning parts such as fans, compressors, filters, capacitors, or any part you may need. 
So, call today at 328-2083. We're located on Robinson Road. Together, they engage in a range of activities, which may seem simple, but have the potential to give Sophonia the head start she needs. In terms of this program, yes, it's going on in some islands across the Caribbean, but on the wider level, um, clearly, how important is that whole issue of the early childhood development? As an artist, I travel all over the world and I find inspiration all around me. In the people, and especially the environment. I love the Bahamas with all its natural beauty. From Abaco in the north to Inagua in the south and all the wonderful and colorful islands in between. But we must all do our part to keep the Bahamas healthy and clean, now and for the future generations. That's why I want you to find a little time to do your part. I'm doing my part because I care. Do you? I'm from Canada, so no one can know it's you. And you don't have to give them no personal information, because they just give you a pin. Wait, what you talking about, though? They got their own system down there to get the information where it need to go. I just saying, if you ain't got nothing to lose, you might as well get these jokers off the street. True, and so Crime Stoppers is the one that's giving you plenty, plenty money for that hot news, eh? <laughs> yeah, and if you help the police with the arrest, from pin, you get some marlins. So I just saying, win-win, my boy. So what the number is, though? Free up the number. Do the right thing. Stop the crime before it's your time. Bing. Call Crime Stoppers Bahamas today at 328-8477 or from the Family Islands, 242-300-8477. It's safe, and the life you save may be your own. This public service announcement was brought to you by Crime Stoppers in conjunction with the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. GM Appliances on Robinson Road has all your air conditioning needs this summer, like the Comfort Star 9000 and 12000 BTU 13 Sear for just $399. Or how about the Comfort Star 18000 BTU just $599? Or how about the Comfort Star 24000 or 36000 at the lowest prices possible? We also carry a large selection of air conditioning parts, such as fans, compressors, filters, capacitors, or any part you may need. So, call today at 328-2083. We're located on Robinson Road. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Catching Feelings by Gene O.D. Mm. Guys, listen, so during the break, um, by the way, everybody on social media, wherever you're watching and streaming, um, um, just stick and stay. Um, but during the break, so we had um, just a group of kids, well, a group of young ladies and a young man mm. stop by. And they are so, so cool, right? Um, they stop by, first of all, well, let them know, because if I say it, people can think I'm just trying to just be all, uh, the typical Shanique. Why y'all stop by? Well, I was giving the kids a tour because I was reporting on their story. They're both cancer survivors. And they was like, we have to meet Shanique Miller. So I said, okay, I'll try. I've never met her before, but I'll try for you guys. And we were successful. So this is, guys, this is Catherine Gomez. She is a, a reporter here um, in the newsroom. And um, so she, you heard her, just finished an interview with, uh, with the, the students behind her, um, two of whom are cancer survivors. And they wanted to stop by and, and, you know, they wanted to stop by and just see what it's all about. You know, bask mm. in the glow. Yeah, yeah, no, just kidding. But, you want um, a long kid? like uh, the conversation there. kids kids like the con no I know kids like the conversation um, I know that some of our topics they thank God they um, they they usually be in class as some of our topics because some of our topics get real but these kids know more than my, some of our topics than me yeah it's true too understand true, true, true. they are ahead of everything um, but let's meet um, everybody just kind of if you can just come and speak to the mic um, but particularly the two survivors first and then everybody else let's just meet you state your name and uh, which school you are which grade you're in 
All right, my name is Ricky San Xavier, and I'm 15 years old, and I attend, and I'm in grade 10, and I attend H.O. I mean, Doris Johnson Jr. High School, I mean, Senior High School. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. The most things I like to do is work, and I like to read, mm -hmm. and... What do you hope to do in the future? Like, you're in 10th grade now, you have a three years to really think about this and work towards it. When I grow up, you mean the future? Yes, uh-huh. All right, when I grow up, I would like to be a chef. Awesome. Because I like okay. to cook. Mm, right. what, what's your, what's your, what would you say is your favorite dish to prepare? Um, I would say crab and rice. Nice. Charlie's yeah. a Bahamian. He can be yeah, a Bahamian yeah, chef. Yeah, yeah. He can be a Bahamian chef. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. When, when so, you want somebody to taste it, call me, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> did, and have you cooked it before? No, ma, but I would like to try it cooking. Ma, yeah, mommy, say hold up. Shall stay out this kitchen, no play. <laughs> um, um, but hey, it's good to meet you. Mm -hmm. And thank you for stopping by. And mm -hmm. the young lady right behind him, introduce yourself and all Hi. of Hi, my name is Michael Maslin, and I am great. I am in great. Um, eight, and I am 13 years old, and I attend CHU Junior High School. And tell us a little bit about you. Uh, my favorite thing to do is cook too, but easy dish like mac and cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I like to draw and do art. So what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor or a model. Wait a minute, that's, okay. that's two extremes. Uh, well, we, uh, how about being a doctor who models? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's possible, why not? You know what I'm saying? You see all those Instagram models, like why, why not, right? Um, so awesome, and so how often have you made a mac and cheese dish before? Um, I'd say a couple months ago. Oh, how did that come out? It's good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, super, super. And how, by the way, you both, how are you both feeling? How are you both doing? Um, are you healthy, um, you know? Yes, ma'am. Well, thank God for that. That's so yeah. awesome. That's really amazing. And you? Well, my name's Rashawn Smith. I am in grade nine. I attend C.H. Reeves Junior High School. Uh-huh. And how about you? What do you hope to do when you, when you graduate school? I would love to start a music industry. Music industry. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to be a producer, a singer? What a singer. You want to be? You can sing. Yes, ma'am. Well, let me hear something. <laughs> let me. A, a singer should always be ready. You don't know who watching this show and where they watching. My voice ain't good. This is the same. This is the same thing. Um, um, you come, 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 come. Let's meet you. <laughs> My name is Tony Josie. Um, seventeen years old. I attend University of Bahamas. Super. What's your major? Uh, so. Social work. Social work. And okay. so you want to be a social worker? Yes, ma'am. What drew you to that career? Well, I look at some of the things happening in the kids' life, like how their parents just treat them and how they've cried and didn't want to live no more, and how they've been through so much that we can't imagine, and that draw me to actually help them. Wow. Uh, so you've seen it firsthand, obviously, as having just graduated, seeing yes. how kids can go through so much, yes, getting into a depressed state, all because of what's happening in the home. Yes, ma'am. That's amazing. Well, listen, um, good luck with that. And um, I, I know you'll be quite a great social worker. Yes, ma'am. That's super. And so, Catherine, I mean, how has interviewing these kids and um, hearing their stories and then now about to share it on the news, how has that, you know, impacted you? Like, what did you learn and walk away with from that? I've learned so much from these kids today. They showed me that life is so precious and we need to be so grateful for the things we have. Instead of being concerned with how many followers I have on Instagram or how many likes I get on a picture, be grateful for life. Because these kids have been through so much. They've been telling me about the chemotherapy they've endured. Um, having to um, not participate in school for about a year and 11 months from Michael. Like, they've been through so much. They haven't had a normal childhood. So to hear their story, and they're still strong in their faith, which is so remarkable to me. Faith is important, eh? Yes. And it's important, I'll tell you this, not, it, it, it's important every day of our lives. Mm -hmm. And we understand that it's faith and a, believe, a belief 
uh, in God's ultimate power that mm -hmm. will bring success. Amen. Yes. And that health so and healing and, and, and progress and just, you know, any and everything in life, really. Yes. So, Catherine, it's good. First of all, it's good to meet you. Yes, nice it's, to meet you as well. Thank you very much. It's great that you stopped by um, and, uh, you know, you're getting some support on, on social media. Um, Laverne is saying just awesome and to God be the glory for the stories that she heard. And so that's really cool. So, everybody, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Do you all listen to the show? Regular, do, you, do you all listen to the show? Yes, they are fans. Yeah. They were freaking yes. out over you. Oh, really? Oh, super. <laughs> they thanks were. For, thanks for listening. Uh, that's true because it comes on at four. So yeah, you're out of school. school if you yeah. have no after school activity uh, mm -hmm. most days, you can tune in. Well, continue tuning in. Continue uh, spreading the word. It's really cool. How about you, Miss, Miss University of Bahamas? Do you listen? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, you better. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Even Catherine <laughs> looked like she's a fan. She came in, yeah, well, her eyes. I, like, know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Catherine, thank you very much. It's good to have you stop by as well. And, and you. you continued success in the newsroom. And as you really get into reporting, it's a, it's a, great, it's a great career. It can be very rewarding as well. And, and it really can go in any direction you want it to. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And I will definitely be keeping up with you, and checking in on you every day. Yes, of course. Yes, do that. <laughs> do that. And so, guys, listen, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, my two guys here, we will uh, wrap this up. By the way, listen, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, but ladies in particular, we're talking about standards in your love life. You all are just starting out. Don't fall for no foolishness. Mm, no. You understand? Yes, uh, keep, have your standard and don't apologize for it. Mm, understand and don't, and don't settle. You deserve everything you've ever dreamed of. Mm. And, and who can't give that? Then, you know, you have to just make some decisions. Mm? Yeah. So we're going to take a break and come back with more of the conversation after this. Champ, you gotta say it. Come on, say put Together, they engage in a range of activities, which may seem simple, but have the potential to give Sophonia the head start she needs. In terms of this program, yes, it's going on in some islands across the Caribbean, but on the wider level, um, clearly, how important is that whole issue of the early childhood development? As an artist, I travel all over the world and I find inspiration all around me. In the people, and especially the environment. I love the Bahamas with all its natural beauty. From Abaco in the north to Inagua in the south and all the wonderful and colorful islands in between. But we must all do our part to keep the Bahamas healthy and clean, now and for the future generations. That's why I want you to find a little time to do your part. I'm doing my part because I care. Do you?
Uh, welcome back to the conversation, uh, Matt. Listen, I was just telling the gentleman here that, you know, 45 minutes spent on something that's uplifting and motivating, um, it's super, you know. It may have kind of come right in the middle of what today's show is, but mm -hmm. it was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we talked to Ricardo, and then for 15 minutes we spoke with with uh, that that uh, the group that who stopped by just to say they fans y'all they mm. fans they mm. fans of the show mm. understand it mm. understand <laughs> Ricardo and children that's, 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 that's unique yes that's you know no, how children is. you know like you know most of the time you hear from grown ups that mm -hmm. fan of the show but mm -hmm. they hear like from children I said yeah. wow well, no, that's why that's why we gotta be careful what we talk about no no no, no <laughs> we got no but we, that's what we gotta talk about what we talk about mm. to to mm. get yeah keep it real because mm -hmm. then I'll tell you it's really surprising. Um, I go to the food store or wherever it is, mm -hmm. and I, now that they stop by, a lot of high sc school students, I don't know mm -hmm. if it's high school or middle mm -hmm. school that they're in, but they just, I love your show, I love, they mm -hmm. listen. Yeah. Wow. They listen, yeah. and wow. they're enjoying it, and they learn, and whatever, and I know somebody, I'll tell you this, when I was somewhere else, um, somebody called and said, oh, you know the topics or whatever, man, listen, this is 2018. Mm -hmm. These children know more about, about mm -hmm. sex and everything else than you do, and so don't call me or report me and talk about the topic vulgar. I don't have vulgar topics on my show. Mm -hmm. I do not. Mm -hmm. What I have, though, is truth, is topics that I believe are educational one, for couples, married adults. But don't exclude these kids because as Ricardo said, in church, mm. this it, it, it is no longer the usual. It's no longer no. business as usual because it's a different generation. Your two-year-old knows how to operate your phone better than you mm. or your tablet or your mm -hmm. uh, laptop. And so, you know, come out of that, ma'am. You know, if, if, come even, away from if, it. Even with that, Shanique, even the not just married couples but people in general even persons that have not made decisions to be in like uh, uh relationships they need to hear some of those things so they can know how to deal with some of these jokers when they step to their plate yes you see what i'm saying so so i don't just see it as just like for helping married couples mm -hmm. what about those that in the valley decision should i really give in and take this brother serious does he has the criteria does he ask up to what I'm expecting. You see what I'm saying? Yes. They're real things. Yes. And you know, sometimes no one has ever said anything to you. No. no. You believe everyone knows. You say, you know, everybody should know. That's right. No. Exactly. No. no. And one true. of the things, you said this a long time ago, right? One of the things that the church has failed to do is to be able to address like issues such as these. Mm -hmm. Issues that right. deal with, with relationships. relationships. And the yes. problem Churches is this. Everybody down. want one, you know. Yes. Yeah. Everybody want yeah. one. So that's that should be one of the top things. This is why so many people, even that are in church right now, are ending up oh, divorce yeah. and, 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 and going through emotional stress. Why? Because the major problem that most people have is relationship problem. Yeah. Absolutely. You could have a good relationship, but that doesn't mean that the relationship doesn't have problem. Mm -hmm. right. Problems is something that all of us all will have. Because have. you're bringing two different people mm -hmm. with like, different ideas together to be able to form one. And yes. at times, that's difficult, even yes. for folks who are married. Yeah. And that's why uh, a, a platform like this is so necessary because it introduced a lot of thoughts that individuals may have never been exposed to exactly. to help them guide themselves along because the truth is I grew up uh, in a single parent home. I know a lot of my friends who grew up in unique situations and never had anyone sat down with them to say certain things and you, and you listen to a, a, a show like this and you would discover that, oh, I didn't ever thought about exactly. that. I heard what you said to those young people, discover who you are mm -hmm. and, and be willing to stand for something. Mm -hmm. You know you know how many people have never had anyone say that to them. Exactly. That's really good. It is. Exactly. It is. You exactly. see, and, and, and that's why it's a, it's a show that deals with real life topics, real life issues, and sharing real experiences. Exactly. So that they could see that it's possible through you. Somebody yeah. who failed school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone who could not read. Yeah. When did you mm -hmm. learn to read? Mm -hmm. I was about 18. I was 18 when I went to academia. Mm. 18 years old. Eight, and now you dug on all over the United States. Exactly. Was highly respected, highly regarded. Uh -huh. Carlos, you. Speaking you, the lives of thousands life of, and of, thousands. Of, uh, tens of thousands you know? of, of, of pastors, mm -hmm. young people, all the rest of it. You mm -hmm. know, Carlos, you too had a, a struggle. I don't know if you couldn't read, but you too had a struggle with a number of areas before you became Carlos Reed. Yeah, I shouldn't only three subjects I liked when I was in school. That was lunchtime, break time, and B. <laughs> you know, but, you know, over the years, uh, you know, uh, through mentorship, 
mentorship for persons like Dr. Miles Monroe, it really brought me into really who I am. So I'm be able to impact the kind of people that I'm, I'm impacting. You know, when when now I have uh, uh, corporations calling me to be able to host seminars for them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, it is shifting now from where people believe that Carlos really only good to talk to bad boys. Mm-hmm. No, no, we got bad boys that are in corporations right yes. now. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So we're dealing with conflict, there's a resolution on on the job site. We're dealing with anger management because look at all of us need to learn how to manage our anger. All of you us. see what I'm yep. saying? Uh-huh. And that's something that we have never been taught. No. We never taught those no. things mm-hmm. in school. Again, like Ricardo say, we take it for granted that everybody knows. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And this is why we're having so much relationship so issues, issues because so we don't know issues. how to deal with our issues. No, Nobody I ever see, told that's us. That's why I said, you know, when I was asked to have women around the table on Friday, not just separate conversations as I normally do, mm. because it's like the, now that we are hearing from both, the mm. two need to have the conversation together. Exactly. Because yeah. for some reason, it does appear as though, like, like women be like, can this man not understand me? Yeah. And mm. meantime, the man is saying, can this, this woman, woman not understand right. me? Exactly. And so it's very necessary. Relationships are at the core of any society. Yeah. You and know, and it's once important. We get, yes, once yeah. we get that right. Mm. See, and this is why even Shanique, like when I come on here, right, I try to stay away from being the pastor. You see what I'm saying? Because you got some real people living in a real world but experiencing real, real issues yep. that need real solutions. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? We don't always have to get spiritual about everything yep. mm-hmm. because everything in a relationship is not spiritual. When me and my wife close the door, I tell God, but you need to come out of here right now. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's a real thing. Yep. And we got to be able to be real with people if we don't. We can be in trouble. Yes, the, absolutely. Uh, the, yes, Ricardo. Yeah, the challenge is there are a lot of people who have increased in age but not in development. Right, right. And so you, you, you can have a man or a woman join together but not knowing how to deal with the opposite sex only to find themselves dealing with massive levels of struggle and, and strife and sometimes never having discovered who they are. Exactly. So the struggle is real. You need platforms. You need conversations that will help individuals to discover who they are because as we live and learn, you start to realize, boy, people are different. Mm-hmm. And how to deal with another person, you know, over time you will discover what you observed may not have been totally all it because mm-hmm. nobody's ever stopped and told you what it needs to be. Yes. You were just looking from a distance. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and from a distance will lie to you. Absolutely. It will trick you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Inga mm-hmm. is on uh, the Facebook live stream, says, um, real topics is what we need. Shanique yeah. has raised the bar. She says, I'm doing a great job. Thank you. Uh, mm-hmm. She remember my first day. Girl, our first day was a little rough. Uh, mm-hmm. First couple of months was rough because I was still the reporter. Mm-hmm. And I was so afraid and unsure of myself and, and still trying to figure out the show, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was a show for women about women, women's issues, etc. But I was still trying to figure it out and realize that it had to be bigger and more encompassing that, to what it is. So she said, four years later, and you're still standing strong. Yes, to, yep, yes, absolutely. Yes. Thank God for that. Um, mm-hmm. Pat says, I remember Mr. Reed talked to us in the late 90s at C.H. Reeves. Mm-hmm. That's somebody that you spoke to us. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, hello to you, Ankaz, I guess. Uh, Pat says, I agree. Too much preaching turns people off. Mm-hmm. And so th- to you, Ricardo, like you got to just sort of find new strategies. Yep. Mm-hmm. And ways of doing it. Mr. Mm-hmm. Knowles, thank you for holding. Welcome to the conversation. Uh, he hung up. And so, gentlemen, listen, as we wrap up today's show, um, you know, I give you each an opportunity to just talk about, you know, how we each can raise our individual standards uh, when it comes to matters of the heart or even sometimes in life. No, first of all, Shanika, I want to put out something out there, right? Uh, the folks already tell my wife that uh, I say that she can only cook, cook spaghetti. Yeah, no, you, you that's did, did, not kind of that's not what I meant. My wife could cook all kind of things. You see what I'm saying? She's come a, a long Robin way. Long cheese. way. Now, I honestly, the people say that as a pastor, you shouldn't lie, right? Mm-hmm. I never see a cook crab and rice. But trust me, She's a she got her stuff. Yes. You see what I'm so saying? What is she that, got what is her stuff. Best dish? The salmon. 
She oh, got she, yeah, she, oh, she no, could no, do that no, salmon. No, no. She could cook she, salmon. She, 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 she off the chain. Okay. I'm lying. She off the chain okay. with that. And she's cooked. Man, look at look, women. Women. You can't be cooking the same old things no right, more. Right, right? right? You could right. go on what they call Pinterest. Pinterest. Pinterest and all of them things. Google, and, and, Google and, recipes. And do yeah. little salmon Something. and different yes, things. Yes, because yes. when I was growing up, we ain't had no salmon. But no, you know no, what I'm hearing? You know what I'm hearing, Carlos Reed and Ricardo? What y'all want? Y'all want us to be Sasha Fierce and dog on Isla Garden. Because you are saying... Don't cook the little typical crab and rice and fry fish no more. Go no, that's not what we're saying. Yes, y'all saying that. No, no, no that's not what we're saying. No, no. And- no, what we're saying, right? Crab and rice is good. The butter wants some crab and rice. But every now and then, spice it up. Food is get boring, man. Yep. Food is get boring on the real. And, and so, really, the truth of the matter is you can become that person who learned how to bring variety to exactly. the house, man. Don't get locked in a box. Mm. You know? And, and you know what? That will strengthen the home. That will strengthen the mm. relationship. Don't mm. stick with one thing. Crab and rice is good, but mm. understand that there are many different types of ways to present a good exactly. meal and, and all that good stuff. Mm. Ricardo, and your event uh, once again. October 10th through the 14th, the National Children's Ministry Day initiative is going to be phenomenal. Go to my website, ricardomiller.com, for more information. And I want to endorse Ricardo Miller children's event. Mm-hmm. I believe that it's imperative now that we make sure that we prepare this generation right now for the future. That's one of the things that have not been done in the past. We we, we, we expect children right to figure out some things for themselves. Somebody once told me that the best education that you could ever get in life is an education in OPE that stands for other people's experience. Absolutely. You know, so I want to endorse you know, I, I haven't said it publicly on our national stage, right? Right? But Ricardo Miller has been doing this thing for years. I don't know if people remember Arbo the Clown. You know, mm-hmm. but uh, Ricardo, you're doing an awesome thank job, you. man. Amazing. You. I agree Appreciate with you. It. I agree with you, Carlos. It. Carlos Reed, Ricardo Miller, thank you both. Today's show brought to you by Ministry of Finance, Almighty Computers, Midens Wholesale, SM Uniforms, Money Managers, GM Appliances, and Club One Fitness Center. Everybody, listen, thank you so much for an incredible week. It's really uh, great hanging out with you. Have a great weekend. God bless. See you on Monday. By the way, hey, social media, you're on the bomb. Yes. Google to the world. <laughs> <laughs> The views and opinions expressed on this show or program are not necessarily the views of the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas.